morning everybody welcome to the best mountain farm and it is chilly i'm out here with aiden very cold and today we are going to get started on getting uh aiden moved or getting the stuff ready so that aiden can move down to live with chelsea my sister and his aunt um she lives a long way away <laughs> right there but since Aiden's just in the little sunroom, we're going to uh, <clears throat> turn her porch into an office so that there will be an extra, be the other second bedroom will be free and Aiden's going to move down there with her. That way we'll have the old fart house and then the kid's house, basically. So, uh, you better not let Aunt Chelsea hear you said that. <laughs> she doesn't watch our videos, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, first thing we've got to do hopefully with any luck it'll start uh found out that the Kubota doesn't like cold weather seems like above 20 it starts and it's about 30 right now so warming up the glow plugs <laughs> we're gonna let that warm up for a minute and we're gonna go over here and uh, we are going to restart the Kubota. <laughs> Come on, girl. Okay, maybe we're gonna uh, warm up a little bit more or the weather and play with this and uh, we'll let you know when we get started. All right, everybody. So, boat is still being a pain to start. Uh, I got Yaya and Papa Hugh, they're out and they're gonna grab a fuel filter. Maybe I'll fix it. So, while we're waiting on the weather to warm up, I figured I would show you guys what I've been talking about um, with turning my sister's porch here into her office and extension of her living room because this is a tiny little house. So it's gonna give her more room and then Aiden's gonna be able to have the extra bedroom she has to live in. So we're gonna measure, we're gonna measure everything so we can figure out how much wood we need to cut on the sawmill and uh, also get our materials list, get our dimensions so we can start making our materials list and go to the hardware store and pick everything up. So, here we go. All right, so warmed up enough to get the Kubota started. Got everything done, a few other projects pop up. So now we're getting back to business. So uh, 
first thing we're going to do is get everything set up cleaned up and ready to go here uh for the mill because it's winter there's not a ton of time left and in case uh i, I want to go get some logs staged and ready to load up and ready to go so we're gonna get all that done and then i will go over the sawmill we'll start getting some wood cut for the porch down there all right everybody so i realized a minute ago that a lot of my newer subscribers a lot haven't been around or weren't around when i was cutting the wood for the uh, old homestead house and hadn't really seen the sawmill in operation or had an explanation so i thought i'd take a quick second and explain what this is that we're using and how it works. All right, so this is a uh, turbo sawmill warrior. We can cut up to six inches by six inches in diameter with the guard on. You can go a little bit bigger with the guard off, but it doesn't work really well for something much bigger than that. So what you saw or what you'll see me doing is first thing I've got to do is get the log centered up. So by moving the log back and forth so that I get the most uh, most yield out of it, get the logs tapered and get the beam up and down so that I can just shave the top off and start making dimensional lumber. Um, so that part I do by moving the log. So once I have my log set, I will start the sawmill, go down horizontal, and this is called a swing blade sawmill. And the reason this is called a swing blade sawmill, when I come back, I will swing the blade vertical. And now when I'm done with this cut, I now have one dimensional piece of lumber. Instead of a band mill, you have, you can, that's got the big band saw blade. It cuts one way, you have to move that slab, you have to cut all the slabs, and then you have to take those slabs, turn them up, and cut them again. So with a, with a band mill, while you can cut bigger lumber generally, to get one dimensional piece of lumber, you have to touch the piece of wood two times. With this swing blade for cutting dimensional lumber, every time I go down and back, I have a dimensional piece of lumber instead of having one wasted trip. With a band mill, you have to walk back, nothing good happens. Kind of a brilliant idea. Um, I adjust up and down with these handles right here. This is how I adjust my height. And then over here, you guys will see me adjusting my, uh, my width, the width of my boards. I'll set it right here to compensate for my kerf because it's got uh it's got about a quarter inch kerf and then you can see so right there would be one inch two inch three inches four inches five inches to a maximum of six inches which You're is smacking the, the wood the widest that i can cut uh you guys make these in new zealand works great um this sawmill i think at the time prices i'm sure have changed uh papa bought this about three four years ago uh around thirteen fifteen thousand dollars somewhere in that price range don't quote me and i promise you we have paid for this 10 times well not 10 times we have paid for this more than paid for this um for instance those two by fours we just cut if we hadn't busted them we would have had about 15 to 20 and right now two by fours are about four dollars uh so if you ask for a hundred dollars worth of wood we cut in an hour and a half and we have used this thing for days and weeks on end. So that is what you're going to see in operation today on this video and quite a bit in upcoming videos because we have a lot of projects. So just thought I'd give you a little information on it. Enjoy the video.
right, so I know I said, what is Papa Hugh doing at the beginning of the video? I couldn't help it because uh, he got lucky. He went to the doctor today and he's healing really good. So his only restrictions are he's got to wear the neck brace. Four more weeks. Yep. But he can do whatever he wants, lift whatever he wants and all that stuff. As long as he's got the neck brace on. And uh, I think there was one thing he couldn't do, one movement. But so, so far so good.
I think that's going to do it for the day. Uh, getting late now and got to take care of animals. When that sun starts going down, it gets chilly. So, got it, uh, some stuff set up for tomorrow so we can get started first thing. And a little bit of cleanup done. Got some lumber cut. Uh, took a few minutes to get the sawmill adjusted and lubricated and all that kind of stuff. Tractor wouldn't start, so kind of a typical day, but uh, I'm good with it. And now tomorrow should be a lot smoother. Uh, today is pretty much Monday for all intents and purposes. So appreciate y'all watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share so you can see all these projects we got going and getting that porch finished up. And uh, thanks for watching.